Part 1. Exposing the screen. Here's a list of things you'll need for this step. A screen, which you can find at most arts and crafts stores. A light source. We're using a standard 500 watt halogen shop light, which we're placing 16 inches off the screen. A black transparency of your design, which you can get printed at any office supply store, Kinko's, Office Max, things like that. Also note, it is important to make the image only one color. You'll also need photo emulsion, which you can find at most arts and crafts stores. A squeegee. A dark spot for drying, preferably with a fan. And last, a large sink or tub to wash the screen in. Now you're ready to start. If you're using a new screen, start by cleaning it first as there will be grease and oil on it. Once that's done, make sure the screen is fully dry. If so, you can put the emulsion on. Pour some emulsion on the screen and use the squeegee to spread it smoothly. Then flip the screen over and smooth that side as well. You shouldn't need to pour any more on the screen as the emulsion will push through from the other side. Once coated in emulsion, any extra on the screen can be put back in the bottle. You can now place it in a dark spot to dry. It can take anywhere from one to three hours to dry depending on your setup and if you're using a fan. When the screen is dry, it'll be smooth and not tacky to the touch. Now it's time to expose the screen. Start by placing your transparency on the screen with the words in reverse so that when it's placed on the screen, it'll be legible. Once your image is where you want it, place it under the light source. This will take about 20 minutes, but exposed time will be different depending on how far the light is from the screen and the wattage of the bulb you're using. You may need to try a few times to get it right, but once you do, you'll know how long it'll take from there on out. Now that you've exposed your screen, take your image off and rinse it. You should see a bright green ghost of your image. This will be the part that washes away. If more than your image washes away, that means you've not exposed it long enough. But if not enough washes away, you've left it for too long. Now dry your screen and you're ready for part two. Part two, printing your shirt. Here's a list of things you'll need for this step. Masking tape, fabric ink, a blank shirt, a hair dryer, a sheet of paper, a large piece is better if possible, an iron, and a squeegee, which you can find at most art supply stores. Now we're ready to start. Take your masking tape and go around all the edges and any area that you won't be printing. This would also be a great time to tape any flaws that you see on the screen that may let ink through. This isn't always necessary, but it'll make cleanup a lot easier. Once the screen is taped, place it on your blank shirt where you want the image to go. Pour some ink at one end of the screen. Using the squeegee, flood it by very lightly spreading the ink so that it covers the whole screen. Make sure not to push the ink through. Now, hold the squeegee at roughly a 45 degree angle and pull the ink to the other end of the screen. You shouldn't have to push down too hard to get the ink to pass through. Lift your screen and your image should be on the shirt. Now, blow dry the shirt until it's dry to the touch. Once the ink is dry, place the piece of paper over the image. Now you're gonna to wanna to iron on high heat. Make sure to keep the iron moving so you don't burn the paper. Go over the whole image with the iron so that it'll set it in the shirt and when you wash it, it won't wash away. And that's it, now you're done. You have your own screen printed shirt.